Hello everyone, my name is Saksham Dikshit and this is my channel Pentest Diaries. So today I'll make another video that is a ninth, uh, ninth video of Raspberry Pi hacking series itself. In this video itself, like till yet we have covered so many other combinations for it. So this time, uh, this is a section for not only from the retriever point of view. <clears throat> this is just for a education purpose for the sock section itself. So take example, if any attacker is keep on trying to attack your enterprise setup itself. So at that time, what are the things you can do it like uh, just to misguise the attacker. So at that time you heard about the honeypot itself. So we can make the honeypot also with the Raspberry Pi itself, put it in our network itself, make it that as a NAT. Put it that IP address on internet itself like when a person is trying to get it scan the whole pool network itself that person can identify like this is the IP address over there itself. Unwanted port is also running over there itself if a person is trying to run the nmap that person is can able to identify like there is port uh, VNC port is running telnet port is running so so many things are present over there itself at the time of the nmap the person uh, like if a attacker is not a bit aware about it a person can identify like things like uh, this is a potential target and that person is keep on trying for it so what's the beauty for this itself the, this tool which is already available on github itself the person can like when he's trying to approach it it just slow down the process like at the back side the whole things will be getting retrieving and at the same time itself like uh, enterprise setup having so many appliances in place itself they're just trying to retrieve the information from the target source itself so that that person can able like uh, the enterprise setup can get it identify the whole hackers location itself everything to be get identified so just because of that itself like uh, if we are deploying such type of setup in our enterprise setup so simultaneously our devices ips ids or whatever that appliances which we are utilizing it just to get retrieve uh, identify the target or i can say that uh, the source point itself from where the traffic is getting initiated so those things will get it identified very easily itself and simultaneously the attacker may think like uh, uh, the attack is going on and um, at the time of approaching the ports itself you are getting the appropriate legitimate response itself so such type of thing is happening over there itself. Uh, I'll be showcasing few things over here itself with this and um, later on after this video itself you can you can explore and, and things also there are things like where you can get the email also you just have to get it com configure the SMTP on this uh, configuration file itself and run it then at the time when so the person is trying to get it hit to your Raspberry Pi itself then at the time you get the emails itself you get the blink so so many things you can customize there are three options over there itself so you can customize as per the need itself those things you can do it okay so now what we have to do we simply have to go to the machine and try to configure that and then i'll show you from the attacker point of view if our attacker is trying to approach what type of things we are seeing on our screen okay so let me open the putty so today for today itself i have already opened the putty session itself uh, now we have to clone that repository so let me clone it it's already cloned for me but uh, i'll just put it that link so that you can able to get that link so this is the link you have to use it is a honey pie okay in my case it's already present so it's already showing as already present i'll just go inside of it directly okay now what we have to do we simply have to run it so i have um, then after that what you have to do you simply have to make this sh change the permission for it once you're done with that now you simply have to run this okay so what i'll do uh sorry not this command you simply have to run this command okay so this is the command uh, where it will execute the later phase itself initially whatever that minimum stuff should be get it record like it may take 10 50 minutes as per your internet bandwidth itself it will get it install few required repository itself to be present over there itself so that this setup will work on your system on your especially on raspberry pi so let me run it i have already did that so it's already installed so many things on my system so these are the pop-up present over there itself. you just read the content and install it click on yes yes okay it will check like uh, those things whatever the stuff is required over there to be get it installed is it present over there or not as i'm already utilizing a Kali Linux. So most of the package is already present over there itself but still we'll just wait for it to complete the setup. Once it's just showcasing as a listener then it's automatically will try to hit from our side just to see. So over here itself it's asking us to give any name. So I'll put it a name like. So you just have to make as a attractive name. 
so that if a person is trying to retrieve the banner or those things that person can get the details about it like oh it looks like something interesting so for enterprise setup itself you just try to make something relevant to that only like if you're working for any product based organization try to make the name something like a product itself so that a person can you can make that eye catchy for an attacker so that that attacker will have to target this only instead of just targeting any other target now we have to go ahead further with that these are the option which i'm talking about it you can configure that email i'm not doing that email itself it required so many things you just have to go through the internet try to get it configure that it's asking you just to open that configuration file for you just configure that save it and then you have to run it uh, so in that case you will get that email on your email box itself so it required a lot of process over there itself i'll just go with this okay now what we have to do the scripts also we can do it over there itself i think uh, that is okay i will not configure the script also if we have to define the script part that is okay even if i'll just skip that that's okay now everything is running fine okay what we have to do now it looks like nothing is working but it's running okay now we have to open our powershell or from our base machine itself we are already aware about the ip address okay i'm not sure how to increase the size let me try to increase the size I hope this is visible. If not, then let me add it once again. Let me pick this 36. I think this will be visible to everyone. Okay, so now simultaneously I'll try to make it both the things. Okay, so that you can able to see the hits straight forward. So even you can, uh, these are the, like when you go through the whole repository itself, you can see like there are four options which you can do it. And maybe is one of the option. I'll try to attempt it a telnet over here itself. So when you're trying to go for the telnet and uh, I'll just put 21. Just see over here once I'll hit it. So you can able to see. I'm getting a profit one. I'm getting that it looks like something is present over there itself, but this is not the appropriate one. Okay. And even you can see over here, we are getting the hit and we get that the IP address also. So your homework is one of the thing like I did this, this is for my private network itself. But if you want to make it for the public, how you do that, how you can conduct the tech for it, that's you just have to get identified for it. Even there's a possibility static IP, you can map it for it, but try go ahead further with the dynamic IP also so there is a number of like if a person is targeted once time so next time if a person same attacker is trying to approach that person will not able to identify like whether this is the same IP which I targeted yesterday or uh, is this a something different so we just try to make a dynamic one so try do it from your side for that setup for it so that you can make it a dynamic IP address so that it's easy for the person uh, just to protect the network or enterprise setup for it and for difficult for the attacker just to identify whether this is the same IP or this is the same setup or this is something different. Okay, there are a number of things you can do it with this. So I'll just attempt it with this itself. Uh, there are VNC is one of the thing, FTP is also one of the thing you can try. Like I have did it for the um, FTP itself. If you try for the Telnet also, Telnet you can work like I'll just make it once again PowerShell. Let me try to open it for, uh, uh, this is for 21 for the FTP itself. Let me try for <coughs> Telnet now. It's 168.0.101 that now 23. So you can see even for the Telnet also, like it's working for me and I'm getting that hit. Okay, so by this way, <coughs> you can consume the time of like, this is just one of the section for you try to get integrated with any other thing and if you want to misguide the attacker move it to some unwanted server itself where they have to invest the time and in the meantime you are getting the logs and getting the full description about that 
um, attacker itself so that you can do it so this is just one of the sample for it i'm just showcasing it like how you can do it with a raspberry pi so if you think like at any point of time anything is happening over there itself just utilize your raspberry pi put it that in a net mode itself put it static ip address or dynamic ip address as per you need itself if you have a pool of ip addresses available just make it as a dynamic one and just wait for it to just get it uh, done with that attacker is get it busy with that and in the meantime you can secure your whole enterprise setup for it okay so what i have did it over here itself we just simply have to clone that on your machine itself then you have to done with the configuration part itself whatever is required over there in the video itself i've already explained it and then once you're done with that you just have to make it a listener mode itself you can define it a uh, email also and other things which you can define it as per your need if you want it that every time when any attacker any intruder just trying to get it hit, hit your raspberry pi then at the time at least you can get the email or notification such type of thing itself so or even if you want some scripts to be get it executed at the time you can get it mapped also so those things you can do it by yourself you can try to get it explore i'll just provide this link for you and you can do it exploration from your side okay so that's all about the stuff which i just want to get it covered in this video thank you so much once again take care bye bye